Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Apparently, there's a vintage cube that starts on Wednesday, so that's exciting. So you guys are going to get some treats coming up, and I'm also going to get some treats as someone who is who is who is enjoying the vintage cube. But uh, what are you doing, man? Was it was it popping? Just noises from my phone. Just noises from my phone. We're going to do the JoJo MKE step. And they're always pretty good. They're always super lenient, but also specific, which I love. It's my favorite kind of stipulation where, like, I get to choose things and make choices and still build a deck that's, like, playable. I miss traveling, Stip. Must draft floaty boys and planeswalkers since they can go anywhere. Happy quarantining. Super easy. So we're trying planeswalkers and creatures with flying. That's, yeah. That's great. I love it. Okay. That's all I want to do in my life is... Got okay. vetoes? I don't think we need them. Like they're super. Like Judge Monkey is always super lenient. Like it's not like, it's not like we have to take every creature with flying and every every planeswalker. The deck just has to have those, and like that's the general theme. Okay. That's how I normally draft. Yeah, just give me all the planeswalkers and the uh, the other dudes. You know. So we're at least blue, probably white, and probably black. That's my guess. I could be your backpack while you run. Michael, just pick it off. Wait, what was happening at that point? That beer looks like you take forever in the mirror trying to style it. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does any of these comments mean? Good gravy. I feel like you guys are making fun of me. Oh. Michael can be your backpack. Well, you yeah. remember, Frank. Remember, what is that from? BlizzCon 2018. What happened? What happened in BlizzCon? That's funny because me, you, and and Nathan, admirable, were, were all there. And you were there. And you were there. And Michael B. was there? And Michael Benus was there as well? Benus. <laughs> Don't say Benus, Michael. Why not? I'll tell you why not, Michael. Okay, I'm listening. I'll tell you. Okay, tell me. I'll tell you. So you're not going to. Got it. <laughs> All right, I pretty much understand what's happening right now. This is the kind of shit he does when he's not going to tell you. Nothing better than ordering a half rack of ribs from Chili's, getting home and with it and finding out they gave you a full rack. Oh, man. What value. Oh, wow. When he said nothing better, I thought it was going to be something shitty. Like they, I thought they you were going to be like, order. they didn't get me. Well, no ribs. <laughs> yeah, nothing better than ordering a half rack of ribs and getting a quarter rack of ribs instead. And you're like, well, Or that's... like getting to like give you a burger or something random. Man, they doubled your ribs. Wait, the is that's admirable the Nathan? Is there wait, how many Nathans are are there? Oh, yes. Na Katie, that's admirable is the Nathan that 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 yes, from from GP Vegas. That is the same that's admirable. Yes. That's hilarious. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that's the same Nathan. They doubled our entire order. Man, talk about quarantine luck. I've been also, feel, I've been feeling pretty lucky lately. Also, yeah, well, you won like $300. Dude, were you winning $300 is like winning a like a like half a paycheck for you, man. It, it, it's more than half a paycheck. Like well, that's no, a little less than half a paycheck. At, at, you, mean, at that Utah rates. That's, that's, that's not including my buy ins. Yeah, but still, but like that's not the point. Still. Yeah, but I did the math on how much I actually won, and it, and it's a it's roughly about twenty dollars an hour <laughs> equivalency. And you're doing something and you it was, enjoy. And I wasn't working. Eight, I'm not talking working eight hours. We're talking like these shifts are four hours because games take about four hours. So, so I put this over there on top of that. It's a good rate. Top of that stack of yeah sure. card stuff. All right, I think this is finally going to kick off. Flying and planeswalkers. That's what we're going for, ladies and how gentlemen. How hard could it be? Easy. 
I mean, that's nice. After I had dinner, I got a toothbrush. So that's nice of you to think of it. I, I was just, I was just looking out for you, man. There is not one creature with flying or one planeswalker in this pack. Got him. However, Foothills? what? Foothills. I was thinking Primeval Titan. Your cast Primeval Titan. I don't know if we're gonna be green though. But but this is a green land. Yeah, but it gets land. Oh, it gets lands that have. So does this. Okay. Fair Got enough. him. <laughs> God, I'm gonna say Primeval Titan. And then, Liliana. Seems Liliana, Tamios, any Fire Boys? Restoration. Resto is pretty good with Primeval Titan. You're right. I think it's one of these two. I think Primeval Titan is also an honorary planeswalker. That's a great. I like that viewpoint a lot. Also, Primeval Titan gets lands, so he's technically kind of traveling. I'm not trying to do logistical hurdles here, but there were no planeswalkers or. I don't flyer. know if you really want to go into black right now. It's double black too. I like Resto here. I think white green is solid. is probably. Yeah, I think Resto's good. Hey, maybe on a bant. Oh, what a filthy flapjacks! He's discovering all sorts of stuff. He really is. Two things a turn. Oh, a Nahiri. Oh, also Dragonlord of Tarka? Ooh. This, these both put us into Naya. I think Dragonlord might come back. I think Dragonlord might come back too. I also think Nahiri's a little more versatile. Crassus is good too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're likely going into blue. So. Here's my impression of Michael. Meh, I'm Michael B. Meh. It's great. Wow. You liked that, didn't you? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, I know. Buddy, I know. I don't think you do. Michael? Yes? I will slap you in your st stinky little face. <laughs> Jalapeno cheddar children are my favorite kind of children. You have a favorite kind of children? Yeah. Buddy, that's weird. I consume them, Frank. I think Naya makes more sense because there's a ton of Naya planeswalkers and fly. I think because I think Naya makes more sense when you take into account Plow Under, and then we literally find a Plow Under. Hmm. That's pretty wild. Uh. Oh uh, oh uh, oh! Uh. That's my impression of Michael B. Because it's great, man. Really, really good. I thought it was really good. You could argue history of Benali as a planeswalker. I mean, I would just... I mean, Muldrifter is actually a, a creature that flies, and I think it's pretty good, so... That's true. I want to take Muldrifter for the stip. Oh, I like a Gruul Signet here. Oh, Baneslayer, though. Baneslayer seems like it's too on brand. Yeah, Baneslayer is the, the way. I actually love this Soren. You can take it. I think we are going to take it, and we're just going to be five color green. Oh, we got three three flyers, two planeswalkers, and a prime time. I mean, we don't have to be red yet. Oh my god, he always does this. That's unbelievable. I just can't. I just gonna, I just can't deal with him when he's like this. Well, when you say five color green, it means Ooh, like your base. Green oh, I like dry. Actually, dry it might be relevant for our colors. That's actually yeah, that seems very good. That seems very good. I mean, we're gonna sw we're gonna pass these two, but if we want a playable deck, I think. Do we get to fix mana? Oh yeah, for sure. Judge Jump Key is not the kind of the kind of person that would actually. Was uh, that stupid? Like not being able to fix your mana is just really. It makes it for it makes it unfun. <laughs> uh, You're just gonna lose. Can I sell Freebooter? It's a flyer. I'll put it in the sideboard. And nymphs are like little nimble sprites, and they kind of fly. Yeah, you know what? That's exactly. Burp, 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 burp. Free that booty. What's that from? I Shri don't know. Shriekmaw came back. Conclave Tribunal is probably, probably where we want to be. That's a solid removal spell. I don't want to take more black cards than I have to. I think we're pretty much base white green. Liliana came back. That's pretty wild. But do we want a double black card? 
Yeah. Okay. Got him. Oh, Dragon Lord Tarka and the Crassus came back? I think Crassus is better. Really? Yeah. Did you just hear Hunter Fart? No. You think Crassus is better? I mean, I like Nahiri. Nahiri with Dragon Lord Tarka is also a thing. That's true. That Beanstalk Giant does look like he's going places. Lumbering Falls. That's a nice pickup for our five color deck. Off note. You know something I've noticed about poker players? I have no idea what you've noticed. They can never be on time. I think that's just your group of friends. I think that's just that work group of people. Well, no, these are different people. They're not the same people that play my home game. These are different people. I like Knight. I think Knight's These are the people like, I've never met before, so... Wish I never met you before. Wow. God damn. It's a lion, you know it. How dare you. Oh, Sea Chrome Coast. All right, we're, we're looking good. We're getting there. You know what I think of when I hear Free That Booty is I think of Daryl on The Office when he's like, used to be when somebody texted you, they were like, hey, I'm going to come over. And then Daryl will be like, and then I responded with BTB, bring that booty. <laughs> Garrick. I think that's probably better than Ral in our deck. Sure. I'm also going to take all signets and all like coalition relic type effects as well, so... There's no floaty boys in this pack, right? So it's either Garrett or it's... All the piggies. <sighs> Good gravy, Michael. Ooh, look, a, a cough. That's good, right? You know, it's not. It's actually oh. not. Orzov Signet, however, is great for us. It's pretty good. And I bet Karn... I bet Karn... Come, no, he doesn't. This pack's not good enough for a Karn to come back. Now my basement smells like tacos, but, but why? Now my basement smells like tacos. <laughs> Oracle of Moldiah seems great. I think Nissa also seems great, but we'd just be tapping regular force. Nah, man, we ain't gonna have enough force for that's that. The, that's the problem I'm, I'm thinking. It's gonna be absolutely trash in our deck. I think it's either Oracle or Reflecting Pool. I think it's Oracle. I mean, we already have Dryad that lets us play two lands, but this lets us play them off the top, which is super nice. Uh, Temple Garden seems fantastic right here. Especially because we're... It's to, to fairy, but... Uh, yeah, but I think being base white-green is pretty necessary. <laughs> like, we're basically a Bant deck that's splashing for two red cards and a blue card right now. And a black card. I'm in an Orzov deck, rather. No, no, we're in an Orzov deck. Uh, 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 Abzan. <laughs> What'd I say? You said... We're, I an even, we're an Abzan so deck. so many, I can't even tell you. I, I, yeah, I think I blacked out. <laughs> you said every color combination possible. Ooh, Sacred Foundry seems great. We're passing... We're not passing any Planeswalkers in this pack either, which is pretty nice, so... Oh, I like a Sun Petal Grove a lot. You said literally everything besides junk? What's junk? Junk is Abzan before Abzan was Abzan. I knew that. I was making a joke because... Never mind. It's also the shit that's in your trunk, Michael. <laughs> Boom! <sighs> Got him. Got him right in his little junky ass. Big got him. That's right. Junk sat alone in a boggy marsh. Totally motionless except for his heart. Mud flowed up in the junk's pajamas. You know the song, Michael? I don't. You know it. Oh, Obnixilis? Let's reignite this mother trucker. <laughs> it's going to be reignited in our hand forever. We're a black deck. We're literally a, an Abzan deck. Don't be stupid, Michael. <laughs> Uh, Beast of Thin actually seems pretty decent. I don't think we're taking this Ral, right? It's our two splash colors. I don't think that card's that good either. It's it's yeah, it's just fine. I'll take Beast of Thin. 
Oh, the Karn did come back? I said it. I called it. <coughs> what a deal. Mud flowed up into Max pajamas. <laughs> you ever take that junk down to the rat train? Send them on down to rat train. Outside and got to call on the rat train. <laughs> I like when Michael's he goes rat train. <laughs> he really carries yeah, the, the note. Vibrato. There. Night night would be really good as well if we had any uh, number of s planes and forests. So basically, we had a different deck. Got it. Got it. I think quarantine feels actually fine. Triple white though. Oh, it's, it's, only it's double, double white. white. Oh, that was triple. Of course you did. I'll take that so other people can't get us. Ah, English <clears throat> making seems great. Our our removal is pretty good. Let's see. We got O ring, on making beast within, Obnixilus. This. Oh yeah. Sometimes. Uh, Conclave Tribunal, Quarantine Field, Nahiri gets rid of things. We have Liliana and Obnixilus. Soren kills things. Like all of our cards are. <gasps> That looks pretty good. That's what we need. Unfortunately, we're passing an Ashiok, but I think we got to go Coalition Relic. Also, if Erden Catacombs comes back. All right. Teferi. Oh, I'll definitely, I'll definitely take a Teferi. That almost rhymes. I'll definitely take a Teferi. Do we have any fetch lines yet? Yeah, we have both Temple Garden and Sacred Foundry. Those are not fetch lands. That's... You're right. Those are a different type of card that I named. I was asking because consideration of the breeding pool where this team is. Those that's good. That's good. Got him. 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 Fantastic. Where were you, Michael, when I got him? That's what I thought. Narset, not what we're looking for here. Cultivate seems good. It does fix. I think our mana is going to be an issue. So mana is going to be rough. I think we had to take cultivate. Also, double blue for Narset is pretty. Double blue is not real realistic. Rankle is a flying creature though. That card sucks. It's not great. We can't take Shinobi because it's, it's, it's just a Lantern is insane for us. So We already have Coalition Relic, though. Tap. Yeah, but Lantern literally lets all your lands tap for whatever you want. It's insane for us. It's better than Azorius Signet, though? Like, I mean, I know it is, but like... Also, Heath gets Sacred Foundry and Temple Garden right now. That's pretty good. Maybe we should just take the Heath. Because we already have Coalition Relic and two Signets and Cultivate. Like I think our and this is also just uh, a chromatic lantern as well, basically. That's I'll just true. take I'm gonna take the Heath. Oh, Celestia Signet seems nice. Then we have all three of our base color signets. Sure. Yeah, that seems good. Overgrown tomb. I like it. I like it too, especially because we took that windswept heath. Alright. Golos. Oh. Daddy like no flyers and no planeswalkers, which is nice. Yeah, we're taking that Golos. Found the sure. Golos. That's sick. Um, Far Seek seems good. It does, but I don't want to pass too many planeswalkers and flyers. Totally confused all the passing piranhas. I really don't like this Soren at all, and I really don't like Elspeth here. No. I think I'll just... I'm taking the Farseek just because I think we need it for the deck. I do like a Gideon. All right, Gideon's good. There's also 26 cards. I don't know why we have so many cards. Good gravy. Your sandwiches were delivered? Oh, wow. I didn't even know. That's I'll wild. Get them. Michael, we'll go get them. I'll take Eternal Witness. She don't fly, and she ain't a Planeswalker, but she's pretty good. Kerwit, you are a, a hero mug men, my friend. Hey, no. Hey, no. 
Don't. Finale is actually not bad as a sweeper. I think, uh, yeah, it's probably better than Wall of Omens here. Can you get tikka masala on a sandwich? Oh, wow. I've had pizza that had tikka masala on it. It was actually pretty delicious. Vivian Reed came back? Oh, baby. That's friggin' wonderful. I think I overrun for the sideboard. Razor Verge Thicket last pick? Oh, man. That's great. That's great. That's great. I mean, we could just take Muldrifter out. Thank you. I don't want to take Muldrifter out. Mr. Tasty, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'll take Eternal Witness out. Did you you didn't bring the sandwiches over here? Oh, you want to bring work? Well, that's why I got food that we could eat on stream. He also got his brownies. Of course, because of course he got us brownies. Because that's just how Kerwood does. Kerwood's like that dude that never does the bare minimum, which is just a really good quality in a friend. I don't know which one's which. Oh, man. I wonder how we'll ever figure it out. It's impossible. We got some sandwiches here, guys. All right, we're recording again. We need four cuts from this deck. Good lord. I think we can... With Farseek, three Signets, and a Relic, I don't think we need Cultivate. I also don't think we're going to have that many basics. Are you okay? Yeah. You, look, you looked really confused. I'm always confused. I know, man. I'm sorry. I know it's because your dad left. I think we can probably take out Muldrifter. It just makes our mana easier, and if I'm going to splash for a blue card, I'd rather have the Teferi. There you go. That's nice. That's a good. That's a good strat. I I don't have that that much luck. Hmm. Two more cuts. I don't know how good Resto is here. Yeah, you probably. Like, we only have eight creatures, and the ones that are actually blinkable are this guy. Golos, I guess. Primal Titan and Dragon Lord. Oh, but do you want to cut a creature, though? Well, we have a lot of Planeswalkers that provide win conditions, but... Really, Reed might be a little awkward here. I was thinking that too because you don't have a lot of creatures. Right. She still hits lands. And she still destroys artifacts, flying creatures, and enchantments though. That's true. Hmm. So in terms of planeswalkers, we have. Well, you're kind of like a planeswalker, actually. We actually have a lot. I can see getting Karn. He's pretty generic. We have nine Planeswalkers and flying creatures we have. Yeah, you could have cut four out Karn. I think that's fine. Only three flying creatures. Interesting. I think, uh... I forgot. Oh, you can probably play 16 lands. So you got a lot of like summons. That scares me. We have two seven drops. Michael's making a mess of himself. So nothing new? Nothing new at all. You know what I gotta say? Swiss ain't that bad. <laughs> yeah, I can see Muldrift over Vivian Reed. That's I'm fine with that. Plus, we do have Night of Autumn. We do have Oblivion Ring. We do have Quarantine Field. I'll just play 41 here, actually. All right, so we don't have any way to search for this. Definitely adding two islands. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green sources. That's probably where we want to be. Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine white sources. Definitely cut a white. 
eight white sources. Black, we have one, two, three. Definitely gonna add another of those for that. Probably have another one for that too, because we have double black, double black. Actually, we have the signets, so we'll leave that. Oh, it's only 39, huh? Okay. Let's get two more lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green sources. White sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And black sources, we have one. <laughs> you doing all right over there? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, it adds up when you have, like, Farseek and the Signets, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, we don't actually have a red here? And we are playing a Nahiri? Yeah, let's get a red. Let's get one red and one more black. Or just two red. And then we have two of like almost all the basics except for planes. It's like four red sources though. And then one, two, three, four blue sources. For two blue cards and two red cards. So I think modern it's reaching its, reaching its end. Not really. A lot of people still play modern. I think it may seem like that because Pioneer, but I don't think Pioneer is like gonna. I don't think it's gonna the end of modern by any means. Signet. Oh, a Temple Garden? I like it. Now we can play Gijin. Oh, it's so loud. Jesus. <coughs> Get your own trash in there. That's a good idea. I know. Kerwood, you're awesome, dude. Do we play Gideon this turn, or do we just play Soren next turn? I kind of like Soren next turn. Because if they, they they don't have any pressure, so if they play anything, we can kill it with Soren. I mean, presuming they don't go, like, Green Source, Knight of the Orchid, White, Autumn. What? That was the name of my hardcore band. Yield through this turn. I think I'll save the brownie till later. It's a solid strategy. Stratagem. Oh, sorry, I threw out my paper, so. Oh, they just shocked us? Oh, they're probably dead then. Their name is Blink 180 Jew, and I want to give them a lot of credit for that. Do you think maybe they're Jewish and they're into Blink-182? Maybe. Yield through this turn. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Yield. <coughs> I'll be on your side forevermore. That's what Mike B's for. Oh, pulling the mic up made the ASMR not so brutal. 
Yeah, that's really the goal. We try not to eat um, regularly. Should have got noodles instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, we should get some ramen. I'm actually, I'm not a big ramen fan usually, but I'm feeling it recently. Recently being like right this There's second. a ramen place here. Yeah, that's why I said we should. With Let's you. do it. Let's do it. Right I want to do right it. Right now, right? Yeah. Wash it down. Kurt, send us some ramen to wash down our... <laughs> Don't tempt him. He, I know. That's the problem. We're wiling. We're wiling out. What do I get? Lumbering Falls here? Let's get... Yeah, let's go Lumbering <clears throat> Falls. Also, I got my uh, card fixed. So that was good. Good for you, man. Good they for didn't you. do anything. It just started working again. I called and they're like, "Man, we don't know what's wrong." Remember so. when we got ramen and double froyo? God, Chris, I miss you, buddy. That was good times. That ramen place was insanely good. Just got to make sure there's a place that doesn't have only pork based pork based broths. I feel like that's very rare. <clears throat> yeah, they usually have at least one. Vegetarian yeah, that's broth. very rare for a for a ramen place to not have a vegetarian option. They do exist, though. They do exist. They do exist. I don't know why they're still playing. This is wild. That was pretty tasty. Kerwood, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Pork bread broth. Um, I guess we'll get this guy. And our friend's like, oh, they do have a red. Biscuits and gravy. Alright, let's see what we can hit off of Soren. Dragon Lord of Tarka. Prime Evil Titan. <clears throat> Jesus. The best deal ever from Burger King the other day. Four ninety nine, you get two original chicken sandwiches and two fries. Yeah, the chicken sandwiches, I love their original chicken sandwich. It's just the breading is fucking delicious. Yeah, it's something about the breading. It's wild. In Japan, salt broth and soy sauce broth are very common. Those are both fine. One, two, three, four, red, blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, untap that. So we can keep up anguished on making. Let's see what we hit. Uh, one Nahiri. And then a couple of lands. I guess you shouldn't have played your land first. <clears throat> I guess you shouldn't have played your land first. But I might go be. I think we're still doing fine. What are you having one red here for? Lighting bolt our face. Lighting bolt our sword. Okay. You got it. Man, lightning bolting our face would have been big brain play. <laughs> Bribery, and we just drew Dragon Lord of Tarka and Primeval Titan. So what do we have at six? We have Soren. So we just literally have like nothing else that's super great. No, there's really nothing. They can I mean, they can get like Bane Slayer or Moldrifter, <clears throat> which is fine. I think Bane Slayer is the. Why don't we just kill the Bane Slayer right with Soren? Or the Anguish I'm making on him. Right. There's nothing that can really get that matters. Maybe they just want to see your deck before they scoop. I bet they do. What'd you get on your sandwich? Fucking everything. Everything, huh? That's crazy. Yeah, bribery is actually modern legal. It's just too slow for the format. <clears throat> Remember when George Costanza's dad fell off the po fell in the pasta? I don't think I do. Or we can just Dragon Lord of Tarkov. Oh, we can't Dragon Lord of Tarkov. Nope, that don't work. Good thing we didn't try to do that. Are they dead? We have three here, three here. 
And if we hit a two, then they just die. Yep, that'll do. The good times, the bad times. This deck is sweet. Yeah, you don't want to Dragon Lord Tarka Bane Slayer, Angel. That's not going to work out for you. I don't really think we've bored anything yet. Bribery does kind of scare me. It makes me want to take these guys out. We could. I think it's actually okay <clears throat> to do that. Kind of have to take Nakiri out then, right? No, Nakiri's great. It's just Exile ex just with the two abilities she has. Okay. You could put in, like, Eternal Witness. There are no ramen places near... Wow. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Good gravy, man. Guys, I'm almost done with this sandwich. Sunry Titan plus Dryad is a combo. Why is that a combo? Seems like a nombo to me. Father needs a land. Oh yeah, father needs a land. What? You heard me. Carwit, that was fucking banging. Thank you, dude. It's uh, pretty good. Land. Oh, we did it. <sighs> Don't kill my dryad. Don't do it. Don't you do it. <clears throat> Don't you do it. Wow, they're just adding. They keep adding things. Oh, I don't care about that. Maybe I should, you know? Maybe I should. But I don't. Okay? <coughs> Damn. <clears throat> Damn. Damn, Daniel. At it again. My poker group has been playing poker for 12 minutes and two people have already rebought. It's unreal, dude. You yeah, have to be absolutely terrible, I think, to rebuy in that in that amount of time. I mean, you could get unlucky and like have aces and jam. Nope, and get terrible. <laughs> <clears throat> but I got I I could actually look up the hand history. But why are you going all in? Uh, well, if like let's say you're playing aces and uh, action before you is raise re raise, then it's generally a pretty I Shut good idea to raise money. again. Thanks for letting me buy you both sandwiches. <laughs> you know what, buddy? Anytime. Kurt, when's your birthday, man? Mm. 
one of the downs, taking a lot of damage. One here. of the downsides of trapping with aces is like there's scary boards where you don't want to continue. So jamming pre flop, in theory, makes the other people fold. So. Scary borgs. Yeah, borgs. You don't want to get assimilated, dude. You gotta be careful. I guarantee they shove with like jack ten though. Off suit or suit? <laughs> probably off suit. It's probably worse. I'm gonna actually. I'm curious. I'm gonna find out. I can look up the hand history. Hey man, how'd you? Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <clears throat> well, yeah. I mean, it's public information, so. Wow, it's like you're spying on. Oh fuck. <clears throat> no, I mean, oh. if I was actually in the game, I think I we're dead. Uh, I don't even have to count. This is fucking. Yeah, this sure is fucking lethal as fuck. If you're not dead, you're basically dead. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're dead. Wow, that was wild. <clears throat> is it just a cash game? I think so. But I think so. Oh, you can't see the hand history till the game's over. <laughs> Wait, the game's already over? Till the game's over. Oh. <sighs> Boy. <clears throat> we don't have any board wipes here, but we should have also drawn more mana sources. I kind of like Concrete Charm Beetle over Quarantine Field just because of the mana restrictions. Ho ho ho! Also, if you have AC Ducey, then they don't know what you're playing. What does that mean? Oh, I just want to risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> Are you up a game or down a game? It's it's one one, so I'll just keep it. Oh my god! <laughs> Sound logic. There's 16 lands out of 34 cards left in the deck. That's almost 50 percent. It's a coin flip. Katie, welcome Close back, my love. Coin flip, yeah. Welcome back. Ready? Wow. <laughs> Boom! It's weird because you get so unlucky, but when you keep one-landers and say you're going to get there with two drops, you almost always get there. It's real weird. <clears throat> real men make their own luck. Billy Zane, Titanic. Oh, sorry, Puppy Dog Eyes. I thought you were like referring to how, how they were playing Ace Deuce or something. I just was confused on what you meant. Uh, it's an offers reference, Michael. Oh, is it? Oh, I guess it's a real reference. AC Ducey is a card game. Wow. I didn't that I didn't know. It's from this moment on the office. Why isn't that that's a clip, right? Play the clip. Just pick a different one. AC Ducey? Bingo bango bongo? AC Ducey, <laughs> bingo bang. <laughs> what are we talking? <clears throat> well, we did not hit a third land, so keep that in mind. But next time we can play Karn. The Great Gonzo, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. I need a haircut pretty bad, and it's going to be a long while still until I can get one. <laughs> That's a solid resub comment right there. Land. I just want... I just want to land. This guy goes up to six, and you're going to be attacking for one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's not a thing. Don't you I want to surprise them with the rest of them? Well, then they just, they just trade. This guy just kills it. Because it's going to be a four-two true that's for true i'm gonna instead you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna o stone it if you mean oblivion ring it sure i'm gonna o ring it <clears throat> i wonder how good these brownies are we're about to, we'll find out in the future 
I'm gonna take a small bite right now. <clears throat> oh, they're moist though. That's a good sign. Pretty good. In the days of no barbers, the bald man is king. So true. God, what is with the only freaking <laughs> board for this legion? He just played his his, his brother. What is up with the <laughs> What is up with these dudes, man? I mean we're still going to turn five and hit two land drops, so you know. Frank, if the world runs out of Diet Coke, what's your next go-to? Um, it's cherry limeade. <clears throat> I mean, I drink soda very, very rarely, actually, now. I haven't drank that much soda in a while. Really? You have a lightning bolt? No, of he course. used to be a soda fiend. I mean, they're a diet, but still. Well, now I mostly drink, like, just water enhancers, like Mio and stuff. Tell him, man, you gotta hit it straight from the bottle. That's what it, I mean, if we can resolve this Bane Slayer, I feel like we're fine, <clears throat> but like... Dude, I, you drank it straight from the bottle once and you were, almost died. Yeah, it wasn't good. Oh boy. Oh boy. <sighs> My kingdom for a wrath of God. Your whole kingdom? All of it. Take it all! For one... Cube dress? No, I guess not. <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot of damage. It's eleven. It's eleven damage. I mean, we missed three land drops again. Like. <clears throat> I don't know how better to emphasize the fact they were playing 17 lands, three signets, a coalition relic, an oracle of Moldiah. Like I don't, I don't a cult like a far seek. Like I don't, I don't know how to, how 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 else to emphasize that. I feel like a lot of our losses come down to just not hitting land drops. Well, there's land. Yeah, I feel like even if we bane slayer here, we're still dead. You block. Let's see. You're going to the ten. You block one of the chiefs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's like going to be ten exactly. Yeah, it's close, but not quite. <clears throat> yeah. Kind of sucks. <clears throat> I'm just going to play it so they can kill it and have their little moment of, like, still was able to kill your guy. He's going to make two more goblins, so one, two, three. Yeah, it's just gonna. It's they, we're dead. We're, it's like gonna be exact. 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it's like fourteen damage. I think. <coughs> well, that's not exact, is it? Burst lightning our oh, they face. Had a, they had another thing anyway. So. Snapcaster <coughs> lightning bolt. Yeah, fucking cool. Why go to the combat step when I can kill you outside of it? Good question. Well, I mean, like, ideally, we'll draw more than two lands. That's really. I feel like that's my goal for games of Magic when I have seven drops. But. You know, hey, I'm the Phil Helmuth of Magic. Where like, if I could hit my land drops every game, I'd win them all. <laughs> no, I don't think that's true. That's definitely not true. How dare you? You don't have to be rude to me. Also, that statement only works if there was no luck in poker and it was tournaments, not cash games. You think there's luck in poker, man? What a dummy. What an absolute danger. He usually gets crushed in cash games. Who does? Helmet. Phil? Yeah. Philly boy? Mm hmm Phil Ivy? No. That's a different one. Phil Spector? That's my favorite poker player. No, Negrano's probably my favorite player. <clears throat> Phil Collins. How many Phils can you name? Just keep going. Well, this is the this is the snappiest keep I've ever seen. Yeah, this is a gorgeous looking hand. 
So beautiful. I can dodge bullets, baby. <coughs> I love Scotty Nguyen. Yeah. Or win. That's how you say it. It's win. Nguyen? <laughs> it's win. <coughs> that's a that's a real old school player. It's a prince of poker. I'm a big Chris Moneymaker fan. Oh, cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he do some real cringe shit? He's the he's like like he's a good player, but he's a super cringe individual. That's yeah, I, I remember there being some like <clears throat> uh Also he's just like he's literally just a uh, Ricky Bobby basically. <laughs> Maybe he wants to go fast, man. It's all over, baby. Oh, well, that's sad. Still got a ramp out of it, I guess. Next time we can soarin'. I'm going to be soaring into this match is what I'm going to be doing. They didn't play anything. That's sad. Are there lizard eyeglasses? Is that a thing? I want some lizard eyeglasses for on ice stream. I don't know what the play is here, man. Like, I really want to tap out for a Soren against them. They could mana leak. Nothing is safe against mana leak. What's the card I care about the least? Probably Nahiri, right? <clears throat> I would not want to play against Gus. That guy's real good. True. Also, he's like super intimidating. Smokey Leg, I like how you keep naming Phil's. It's real good. Lizard Man with the Lizard Eyeglasses. I know who you're talking about, but I can't remember that guy's name. His name is Lizard Man. It might as well be. He's got he lizard. literally lives, wears cheap lizard sunglasses from the dollar store at poker tournaments. Don't we all? <clears throat> no. Shut up, man. Got him. Hey, man. <clears throat> How much for Mike to dip his brownie in some honey mustard? Ugh. Alternatively, we also have a marinara. Oh, that's even worse. <clears throat> so Actually, I don't know which one's worse. Chat gets to choose. Michael's dipping his brownie in marinara or... Uh, I ain't doing it for free, man. You'll do. Oh, you'll do it. <laughs> oh, you'll do it for free. Greg Raymer, that's the name? Okay. Woo. Marinara sounds way worse. I agree. <laughs> I mean, no, I don't. <laughs> Honey mustard sounds worse. Uh -huh. Well, I got to kill this guy or else they're going down. So you think honey mustard wouldn't be as bad because it's a little sweet? Oh, so it's just like sweet on sweet? Yeah. Well? Actually, my my chef, my personal chef makes honey mustard infused brownies that are very <laughs> gourmet and top notch. And he dip his a marinara in his a oh, nope. his a deconstructed marinara side. Deconstructed marinara. So it's just tomatoes. <laughs> yes, it's tomatoes and a little bit of spices. Mix on them top. together and make honey marinara stirred. Wow. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> Golden Corral <coughs> taught me that I like lots of flavors mixed. I'd try both. Man, that's crazy. For Yikes. free. Are they going to remand this guy? Okay. I don't know if I'll ever go to a golden corral again. It's a golden <clears throat> corral. Make a dude. The nightmare experience kind of ruined it for me. Oh, with the fucking person putting their hand in the fountain? Yep. Yeah, that's disgusting. Hand in the old mac and cheese pile. Golden corral told me that I like a lot. Of oh, dang it, Katie. I was reading Katie's comment, but it turns out you already beat me to it. Biscuit. Okay, you can read it too. I did. Well, I read part of it anyway. Here comes murderous. No. Golden Crawl taught me that food poisoning is not fun. <laughs> <clears throat> and after all, 
You're my chocolate wonderful. I said, Mike B. You're gonna be in the trash can. I mean, there's a lot of players you can argue have been the best of all time at, at different times in poker. Because poker has actually evolved quite a lot. I'm over still the, years. the best right now. I don't think that's true. You'll never know. You'll pay to find out. All right, I'll play heads up with you. <laughs> it's from Rounders, man. Is it? No. No, it's not. It's from... Hold on. No, I don't remember the Rounders quote. No, Rounders is... I don't know, John. Did I? That's one of the many quotes of that movie. Yeah. Yes. No, you all pay to find... You'll pay to find out is justified. <laughs> Oh yeah, when he's talking about like you know pulling his gun on him. Right? Yeah, Boyd Crowder's like yeah, it's it's like in the very first episode where he's sitting across from Boyd Crowder. God, I think I need to rewatch that show. It's so good, dude. It's my favorite show. Pay the man his money. All of his, but the, are they gonna, are they trying to counter the, the Farsi? <clears throat> Always with the check, check, check. I don't know what's going on here. T -t -t Today, Junior! Oreo's talked in that movie. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm getting an overgrown tomb. So now our black man is not reliant on the on the Siggy boys. You'll be a daisy if you do. Remember that line from Justified? Not specifically, no. That's because it's from Tombstone, Michael. <clears throat> oh, God. Amateur hour. I don't know if I've ever seen Tombstone. What? <sighs> Crying out loud. Has Katie seen it? Uh, Probably not. We could have a viewing party. <clears throat> Tombstone's very good. Wow, really? Narset, huh? So you're probably dead. Five, six, seven, eight. We have ten, ma ten damage on board. Plus a Soren, whatever the Soren nugs you with. <clears throat> Seen which one? Tombstone. With Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer. Sam Elliott. I believe Sam Elliott. Hey, Mucho, I like your Huckleberry. What does that mean? I'll be your Huckleberry. Oh, I just misread it. Ain't nobody surprised by that, Michael. Next time he's going to say he's never watched Breakfast Club. I have seen the Breakfast Club. Thank you. Tell him I'm coming. And hell's coming with me. Nope, never heard of it. Put it on the Denver list. I mean, you can just watch it over Never the heard of it? You never even heard of Tombstone? Oh, my gracious. <clears throat> I do declare. Michael, you don't have to say you declare after every every time you say something. I don't. When you say it. Are you sure? That's declaring it. I'm doing an office quote where Ryan is talking to Michael Scott. Sorry, I haven't seen The Office nine times, okay? I saw you. You were on season seven. You were watching it again. You also, know. I messed up where you were at. I, you did, because I started to play it the other day. It was on season two, and I was like, what the fuck? What is this? I considered writing no, down fine. where you were at, but it I'm like, yeah, it doesn't matter. You see it's, it too many it's times. It's not going to matter. Yeah, you're I'll right. I'll just rewatch it again. It's fine. Also, <laughs> season one... It's cringe. It's a little rough. Me, that's everyone's. It's still, that. it's still, it's still like enjoyable to watch, in my opinion. But like, Michael is is real rough in that. Season. He's real rough, and he improves a lot over the next X number of seasons. Are you getting cold? A little bit, yeah. That's how it happens. It gets so cold. Yeah, because it's down here. I'm sure if I went upstairs, it'd be fine. But to cut anything, Tombstone is one of the best movies ever. Hmm. Tombstone's great. Let's say a movie and make Frank say a quote from them. I'll start the notebook. Uh, what do you want? That was good. I wrote you every day. I also think you have a really, Let's really go good five. memory compared to most people. Let's go to four. <clears throat> I'm going to keep this four card hand. Six drop, six drop. You. Yep. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we'll win. Zoolander. What is this? A school for ants? 
Yep. Mall rats. That kid is back on the escalator. Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank Redemption. Um, get busy, di- get busy living, or get busy dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's goddamn right. Mission Impossible. Oh, fuck that. Actually, I might not know. It's been a long time since I've seen Mission Impossible. Yeah, that's not a movie you watch multiple times, right? <laughs> it's not me, anyway. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad movie or anything. But... Yeah, that, you kind of are if you're saying it's not watchable for multiple. And no one chipped in for the. The brown eating with the marinara. What's your what's your bottom dollar? My bottom dollar? Mm-hmm. At least enough to buy me another brownie. You won't. Wow, if we run out of mana, we can play Gideon and... How about Pepper? $10? $10 and Mike, well, every bite has to be dipped though, right? Every bite? You can just have one bite. Oof. Oof. I want some of the brownie to be enjoyable, though. How about half of it? Oh, Michael dipped half his brownie in marinara or honey mustard for $10. The Breakfast Club. Hold on, we're too high. You guys are are going way too fast. Yeah, you got to slow down. Scott Pilgrim, I doubt you have any quotes from that. I've seen Scott Pilgrim like once, actually. How about Speed? There's a really good quote from Speed, like... I hear most relationships that start under intense pressure like uh, are, are doomed to fail in like the first. So, yeah, there's that really yeah, good I quote think from I know Speed. Yeah. About, yeah, Tropic Thunder. Should know this one. Nope. Never go full retard. Demolition Man. Something something Taco Bell. I just don't even want to play anymore because, like, we just mulligan to four and, like... Yeah. Like, next turn we're just going to replay this. <sighs> Have you ever seen Sausage Party? Mm, yes, once. Okay. That movie was whack. Scarface is too easy. Who can't name a Scarface? Dumb and Dumber. Hey, guys. <laughs> Big golf, son. All Venom. Right. Ugh. I hope you don't well, remember any lines from that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We can get whatever we want. We can do whatever we want. Oh, see, look. He even knows that we one. We can't. It's not like we can get. Like, it's not like they're going to, like, get. what. Like, hey, let's go to the supermarket. We can get whatever we want. Are you trying to apply a logic to that movie? I'm not trying to apply a logic to it. One single logic. The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. I was a little Breakfast Club song. I can remember the song from Breakfast Club. Oh, good. Fallen Shinobi? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's going to be the end of that. Wow. They hit a Garrick and an Obnixilis off of their Fallen Shinobi. Yep. That's all I need to see. Um. Again, like. Let's try not to mulligan to four and hit I'm lane I'm a dude drops. playing a dude who's another dude. Ten dollars and he dips one side marinara and the other side honey mustard and gives us his take. Real. Oh. Pulp Fiction. I'm sure you got a million quotes from that. I Yeah, Pulp Fiction's good. Um, You know what? Yeah, that seems fine. You guys are just saying movie names in the chat now. It's not intelligible, guys. <laughs> also, it's too fast to keep up with. I was hoping for a signet. We did not get a signet. Big Kahuna Burger. Check out the big brain on bread. You a smart motherfucker? That's right. I want him. I want to see him eat a brownie with a sliced pickle on top. We don't have any pickles currently, so... Come on, don't have a counter for this. Oh, baby. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? That's about all I remember for that movie. I'd be like, no. Wow. Time walk, cool. Seems good. I mean, they have nothing on board, so it's not that bad, but...
Vintage cube versus modern cube. Uh, my, me personally, vintage, yeah. Although I have liked this iteration of the modern cube a lot. One mustard and one in... Well, <laughs> I like that you called the, the, the marinara sauce. You're like, do one in mustard and one in sauce. Though they're both sauces, right? Well, no, I think maybe it's coming from the, the Italian where you just call that it That would be sauce. gravy. That would be gravy, right, yeah. All right, buddy. I've heard it called the sauce before, though. That sounds super uncommon. I say cut into quarters and go one in mustard and one in the sauce and compare. Well, I mean, if you ship the money, I'll do it. If you ship it, I'll rip it. Are they not going to do anything here? They were going to do something and they're just like, nah, I'm not going to do it. Don't say you're not going to do it. So we put a charge counter and then they go into the royal. All right, that's fine. They can condescend for three, so they can just play around everything. Still technically registered for the poker game if I wanted. You? Mm -hmm. You can still play in it right now? Yeah. They you... do they do late reg for the first hour. Because it's basically oh, just, that's a, cool. it's just kind of it's just basically just a rebuy, you know? So it's just basically a rebuy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. A rebuy. It's delicious. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna have primeval titan mana next turn. That's pretty wild. Let's see. Um Let's see, Michael B. Under the sea, in a tree. That's me. So we can do the play. I think it's. I think we're just primeval tightening here. Yaw move. Oh, Demon Lord Belschnickel. One remand was drawn today. So now I just get to untap, play Garrick, and kill your Demon Lord Belschnickel? Not gonna do it. I'm not gonna play it. Yeah, it's probably a good idea, Michael. It's very tempting, though. It's very tempting, though. They got a pretty juicy pot. They got a juicy pot. How much are we talking? Uh, there's 240 in the pot right now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm gonna kill your Demon Lord. So that'd be 260 if I played. In the pot. Oh, two sixty in the pot. You're the one that I want. Who, who, who? Two sixty in the pot. Who, who, who? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we should get two more lands and then force the trade. I think that's fine, actually. You got four lands out of this guy. Uh, Razor Verge and Windswept Heath. If you want to trade, that's totally okay. Plus, it means our Garrick is safe and requires another card. So that's pretty good. Although, we don't know what they got with uh, Gonti.
You got the China, the Chinese chicken. I might be in the drums, but thinking. Well, the next while on the white one, when I'm in the nut, and it's a mug of me every day. Kicked bouncing Garrick during main phase. I guess because you have remand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You talking Poker Muggle? Yes. What are we hoping for? Obnixilis? Obnixilis seems I have good. an ongoing, pretty much every night, uh, there's at least anywhere from 6 to 12 <coughs> people playing the game. Uh, Texas Hold'em. No limit. What if there was a limit? That is a way to play Texas Hold'em, but I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a lot of lands in play. Living the dream. Now I'm half in these lands. My name is Michael B. So I know one of their four cards is remand. Where are you playing? On the internet. Yeah, um, <clears throat> me and the people who play, we just have a, we, we, we play on a free, well, not completely free to play. Um, you have to buy gold coins in order to run the tournaments, but we all just chip in a little more for our buy-ins to cover those. But basically, it's a free-to-play app, and uh, we all just pay PayPal this one due to hands of the finances, <laughs> and whoever wins at the end, uh, they pay PayPal you back. So we're still playing for real money. <laughs> what, ma'am? I mean, you guys are doing Zoom meetings as well. Uh, we don't go that far. I wonder why. Why does everyone default to Zoom when it has so many security vulnerabilities? That's what I don't understand. I don't know anything about Zoom. Oh, I don't know anything about that. The only ones I use are Google Hangouts and Discord and Skype sometimes. Horristo. The app also has chatting features, and it also has uh, voice features, so we can talk to each other, too. Oh, I since got her, and you get to keep up her man. Dang. And uh, it's also kind of cool how the app works, because you can, like, when you fold, you flick your cards up like you're actually folding. When you when you check, you actually double-tap your cards like in real life. It's kind of neat. That's really neat, Michael. If you're not doing anything secure, Zoom has the most stable video. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, interesting. Oh my god. Wow. A single person has rebought four times. That's wild. What how many what's how many rebuy-ins? Uh buy-ins are twenty and for the first hour they're unlimited. Wow. You've bought in four times in an hour? Holy shit, dude. Get better at that game. What's weird is he's actually kinda one of the better players. Yeah, I can tell. Also, at some point, it's not worth it with that many rebuys. Well, the pot's getting fat, though. Yeah, it's making it's more tempting for me. But how much is it now? Like, was it 280 or something? Well, it's actually. I'm gonna just gonna ask because like, I think I'm too late to register now. But doubt it. I doubt you're too late to register, but you could still register. No Mike B's on the run. Wow, they just murderous rider, my dude. It's kind of messed up, man. It's kind of messed up. Dryad. Yeah, it's too late to rebuy at this point, so whatever. I'm going to ask how much is in the pot, though. I'm curious. 
My, my answer was a guess before, so I'll find out the real answer. Oh, you use Poker R too? Yeah, that's the same we use. Yeah, it's great out. I mean, if you've rebought in four times, it's only worth it if you actually get first. Michael, much. don't say boughten. What's the rebought? Oh, you don't like a botanist? <laughs> <laughs> They're at six. Oh, geez, man, this Muldrif is doing some hard work. Big Molly in the house. Papa's in the house. Michael, do you know Papa? Yeah, man, I know about Papa. Okay. Did you know he's in the house? Excuse me, Michael, I'm asking you questions about Papa. What about him? Did you know that he was in the house? Yeah, man. Okay, just checking. Just checking, Michael. Papa B. <laughs> yeah, Papa B's in the house. So, let's see. Okay, there's 300 in the prize pool right now. Good gravy, man. There's been 15 buy-ins. Return Gonti, kill my Muldrifter. Sure. One, two. So most likely it'll be 40 to third place, 80 to second, and 180 to first. That's probably how they're going to do it. I wonder what they're making with this guy. He's going to kill my relic. They should have waited. You should have killed me when you had the chance, Charles. How much? What did you say? So the winner will probably get 180. Second place will get 80. And third will probably get 40. Or they might do 20 to the last payer and put in $10 into each of the others. So pretty good. Oof. Big oofs. What do we got here? Look, Garrick, we got so many things on the board that Garrick's like, doesn't even show up. Look at this beast. Beast is black. Beast is black. Okay, so we're going to go three. Oblivion ring. Let's get rid of this because if they man if we manage Oh, here's what we can do. That's pretty cool. We can actually exile this and then play Nahiri and get rid of our enchantment to bring this back. Frank, quick question. In terms of content, should we expect no vids if you get COVIDs? Yikes. That is a yikes <laughs> for me, dog. Let's go with the never find out option. How about that? How about it? Maybe we just do that. Huh. Yeah, I'm just doing that. I feel like you might be winning this game. It's hard to say. They could have packed of negation here. I guess they could. Some people just can't handle the swings, Michael. It's getting real cold down here. I'm going to be finished with this brownie, bro. And you're still going to be dipping yours in marinara like a sucker. No one paid. I'm not going to do it for free. Uh -huh. I'm not going to ruin my brownie for no value. The value is the flavor experience, Michael. No, I don't think that's worth it. Look at that, Michael being a basket. It's a beautiful baby boy in a basket. 1-1. One, one.
Un un. A gifted sub. What a happy Tuesday. Oh, man. You know what? You know what, Michael? It's, it is almost Wednesday, my dudes. My opponent did not join my match. You're right. It is almost Wednesday, my dudes. I know, my dude. Oh. They did join. How does Facebook know I order from Little Caesars? Everybody knows you order from Little Caesars, you Little Caesars slut. <laughs> <clears throat> I've also found that I like just the plain cheese the best. He loves the pizza pizza. Over the peps? Yeah, because you get more of that charred cheese, which is the best part, I think. <laughs> I love a good charred cheese. Well, that's good. That also, was... it's cheaper. So. Also, it's cheaper. A dollar cheaper, to be exact. Which, hey, man, that's not bad. It's something. I agree with you, Michael. If you're good at something, don't do it for free. <laughs> Even if that thing is, you know, eating the... I'm good at only a couple things, but I'm pretty good at those. What are they? What would you say they are? I think I'm pretty good at poker. No. <laughs> Got them. And I hope this windswept heath gets something good. I think it's just going to get a basic, but... I think I'm pretty good at drawing. Go on. I think I'm pretty good at driving. <laughs> Driving? Mm hmm Man, you're going to scrape at the bottom of the barrel with that one. <laughs> I'm good at breathing. I'm really good at eating a lot of food. I sleep pretty good. That was the last land I could have even gotten with that. Golgaddy Signet. <laughs> Jesus, another blue-black deck? Are we just playing mono counter spells, like, all night? Is that just what our... Put this in the thing for me, bro. You got it. Put it in the trash receptacle. <sighs> Is this the same opponent? I can't even actually tell. Nope. Feels like it, though. Come on. Something good. Watch, we're going to draw Mole Drifter. It's going to be one of the few five drops we can cast. Or Tefri. You ready? I'm ready. Look at you. Still being on my kids. Here we go. Ready? It's a blue card. Well, it's blue land, I guess. We doing my step next? What's Kerwitz step? Kerwitz step? No backseas draft. If you put a card into your deck or sideboard while drafting, it stays there. You can sideboard after the first game of each match. Lands are the exception. So, if you put it in your pile, it's got to stay. Well, if you if you deliberately decide to put it in your pile. If I just double click it and it goes to my main deck, it doesn't have to go there because that's okay. obviously not my intent. So, in other words, if you pick something you're not sure about, you, you don't want to put it in your main. Got it. That kind of that's an interesting. It was actually. I was surprised. That might also be more difficult than it seems. It might be more difficult than it seems. Also, you have to remember how many cards you have, because you know, unless you want to play over forty. What do you mean, remember how many cards you have? Well, because if you put it into your pile, you got to play it, right? What doesn't it tell you how many cards you have the whole time? So I'm just saying, you got to be conscious of that. Normally, you just you just take whatever you want, and then at the end, you cut the bad stuff, you know? Hmm. Hmm. So you would take a moderately really car that isn't great, you can't really replace it later. Hmm. That's a good card. It's uh, pretty good. Fingers crossed they don't have an answer for this guy, I guess. I mean, it's an 8-8. They gotta have, like, a Doomblade, right? Doomblade would work. 
That's the name of my shop, Doomblade Woodwork. <laughs> oh, I work. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. Mm. Oh yeah, good job. Good job. Bravo. Oh my god, please shut up. God. I'm getting angry now. Cats don't listen to what you say. He doesn't listen to shit. He is a biscuit head. Whatever, I'm keeping this. And he's so f obsessed with food that he'll literally risk injury by st going under your foot to get to his food. Yeah, he, he's definitely had me almost step on him a few times accidentally because he just runs under my foot. Yeah, I almost... I, I, like, I put my it's, foot on it's him. It's unbelievable. I put my foot on him, but luckily I had balance on my other foot, so I, I didn't step on him really, but it was real close. He just literally went under my foot. Good gravy, dude. Oh! Some pressure on Michael B. Oh, a bit of awesome. It was a warm summer's night on the rat on the rat train as Frank down his last bottle of cherry limeade. He had heard a great roar on the train tracks ahead. Looking out the window, he saw Mutual beating his hairy chest. He was mad. He was hunger incarnate. That was good. You saved the day. Good for you. I'm going to enter the royal your signet at the end of your turn. <laughs> oh, so that guy I was talking about? Uh, Billy Joe Bob Bobskin Baskin? No, the other guy. Mark, okay. Mark Ro Robel? Robelt? Ro Mark Robelt? Rober? Mark Rober, that's his name. Mark Grover? Rober. Robert? Rober. Rober? Okay, anyway. Do uh, you have a video where he tests out um, three traps from Home Alone? And the one with the paint can at the top of the stairs. Yeah, that would kill a man, right? It would kill you, like, <laughs> real bad. Like, they use, the, like, a ballistic stummy, like, you know, like, the real ones that they use on Mythbusters and yeah. stuff. And it, like, not only did it break his neck and his, like, part of his face, it literally almost decapitated it. That doesn't seem good. Red mana. That's, uh, no, no, that's not what we're And the part for. where they, he uses the crowbar, like, because there's a spider on his chest and he hits him right, that would also kill you, too. Because it would collapse your lung and heart and break your breastplate. Home Alone, man. That's a deadly movie. It is. They also tend to tested the uh, light up the door sure. handle thing. That seems like it would melt your fan your hand right on the thing. Uh, yeah. Cassius, like have that. a good night, buddy. All right, so our opponent has three cards. We have six. I feel like we can get away with something here. You trying to be sneaky? Maybe. You can have a swamp. You can do whatever you like. Can we talk about getting hit by a brick thrown from three stories up three times in a row in the face? Yeah, probably. We can probably talk about that? Yeah, probably. Wild. What you cast? <clears throat> Baney boy. <laughs> uh, 
because that's like 10,000% lethality. Yeah, I'll give you another swamp. You like these swamps I'm giving you? I bet he does. I bet he does. Shriek Maw. Compulsive, and I give you that extra swamp to discard. So I'm lucky. Sucker you are. <clears throat> he keeps checking his phone to make sure he can still get in this poker game. No, I'm too late. I'm seven minutes past. It's seven minutes past my poker game. Don't you know Michael B is my name? <laughs> I'm living in the trash can every day. God, they never don't have Shriek Ma, do they? That's really impressive. It's like we draw it 100% of the time. It does, it does feel like that. Let's see if they have a remand. Show me a remand. No remand. Okay. 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 Let's get a, a red source and a black source. Uh, I would like to pay two for neither of those. Show me potato salad. Show me potato salad. Hmm. Good to know. Did you win all your comic books? I won two. Which ones? I got this Amazing Spider-Man number 40. What's relevant about it? Uh, it has the origin of the Green Goblin. Okay. Actually, this is a pretty, pretty low res. Let's get a higher res. Here we go. But yet it says the end of Green Goblin. The you end know. of the green, yeah, it says the origin of the Green Goblin, and it's a it's a sweet John Romita cover, and uh, it's a seven point five, so from sixty six, and I also grabbed this bad boy because I I like the cover a lot, and this is Avengers number twenty three. Nothing really exciting happens in this. It's just an appearance by Kang. It's also the first John Romita Silver Age cover. So that's pretty cool, but it's also a Jack Kirby cover as well. So, but yeah, it just looks. I just like this cover. So, from sixty-five, each player sacrifices two creatures. I guess I'll sack my one creature. Yep. Mystic Remora is ruining my enjoyment of vintage thanks to Loris. The Loris. The companion. The Lorax. What do you know about the Loras, Michael? Everything. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Couldn't have snapped that off faster, even though you let the Nahiri resolve. Kind of weird, I guess. Oh, they didn't know about it, so I guess they're worried about that card. They didn't know about it? Yeah, didn't they dress? On turn one? Has that been in our hands since turn one? Yeah. Pretty sure. <sighs> it's just kind of obnoxious that they have duress, blink, shriek maw every game, so... And bitter blossom, I guess, and multiple Gonti. Right? It's like the, it's like I'm playing against like they have a ten card deck and and we have a forty card deck. It sure feels that way. Yeah, it's kind of obnoxious. Oh, Liliana every game too. Let's not forget yep. Liliana. Yep, also Liliana. Which we also didn't we also have don't we have Liliana on our deck? And I don't think yes. we've drawn her once. We do have an air deck. Yep, I couldn't tell. It'll show up right at the end when you die. That won't be good. I'm sure it will. <clears throat> Is that mine too? No? Interesting. Hmm. 
All right, let's pass. And I assume they don't have an answer for this, right? JK, they do. JK, they will have an answer. Here it goes. Never don't have the answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Jojo MKE, unfortunately, things did not go the way we wanted them to. Our opponent had every answer that they could have had. But our deck was cool. I liked our deck a lot. And uh, despite only going 1-2, I think we still had a good, a good shot. And we had a bunch of Planeswalkers and a bunch of Flyers. But unfortunately, our opponent's Planeswalkers were always one step ahead of us. Thank you for the support so much. I really appreciate it. Check out Manatraders.com. CoolStuffInc.com, Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore, or Twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore if you guys are watching on YouTube, and uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But if you're watching on YouTube, I'll see you next time.